Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's having a great day. I wanted to come in and share the process how I made this card from start to finish. This is a thank you card that I shared in one of my last videos with Miss Paige and Miss Peggy for the monthly card shares. Um, this is a thank you card why I did a full page of just a thank you stamp. And then I have a um, piece here that I got off my silhouette that I printed and then cut with my brother's scan and cut. There's a ribbon there in the back with a little bow. I use a cat scrap and a scallop frame die. And then on the inside, I use that scallop frame die again. And I just did a piece of white cardstock on the inside to mat. And I didn't finish the back. So please bear with me. This will be my first time doing an actual um, card start to finish while I'm recording. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So the first thing you want to do is take your stamp and what I did was just took the whole stamp and I taped it to my platform and this is how it'll look. I'm using some craft cardstock from Recollections and then I'll just put this on here with my magnets and then I'll move the paper based on where I'm going to stamp it. So I want to use that end piece of the paper so I don't waste the paper and then I'll use my anti-static bag because I'll be embossing this. And that's good enough and I'll um, heat emboss this. So the embossing powder that I'm using is the Recollections Pearl Embossing Powder. And then I just have a coffee filter that I'll catch my powder in. This is how it looks once it's heat embossed. It has like a silver shine to it. The next thing I'm going to do is use the um, second to largest scallop frame from Cat Scrappiness to die cut this. So this is the piece that I've die cut. The next thing I'll do is um, create my card base. This is the Martha Stewart scoreboard. I have a piece of Recollections 110 pound cardstock that's cut at four by 11. So I will score this at five and a half. Then I'm gonna take this piece and just put it right on top of there. And to do that, I use this um, permanent adhesive and this is the Tomba Mono. I get this from Michaels. I normally get um, I use a 50% off a regular price item because there's three in the pack. And I normally just use this in the center. And then I use the Tacky Glue by Aileen's around the edge of the card, or around the edge of the piece that I'm putting on the front. Then I'll just center this. And then I normally use this little thing here. This is called Bono, um, Bondo. And I got this in the automotive section at um, Walmart and it's used to like level out putty, but I use it to kind of make sure everything gets evened out and flat and that the adhesive is spread evenly. So then that'll be the front. And then for the inside, I'll cut another frame the same size and then I'll do a white piece to mat the inside of that frame. So here's the piece that I cut for the inside of the card. It's the same size as the front of the card. And then I'm gonna cut a piece of white card stock to fit inside of the scallop piece. We're going to use that piece. So I'll do the same thing with adhering on the inside. I'll use my Mono Tombow glue and then I'll use the Tacky glue around the edge. 
as you can see I've been stamping this card a few times this is just some extra craft but I didn't want to waste it so I'm using it on the inside of this card I will make sure it's even on the inside and then I'll just use my little putty spreader to make sure all my glue is leveled out then I'll take this piece and do the same thing my mono glue in the center and then my aliens tacky glue around the edge I'll make sure this is centered in the scallop then I'll use my putty spreader to make sure it's evened out and for the front what I've been using is I have some silver ribbon behind the thank you and then a little bow so I picked out a few more black and white bows from my stash here's the silver ribbon that I use and this is American crafts I got this in that multi-pack that you can get from Tuesday morning and then for the thank you this is the piece I actually made this on my silhouette um, it was a cut file I turned into a print and cut file which means you can just print it out and on your regular printer and then I just cut it out on my brother scan and cut so that it looks like ephemera it's just a die cut now it's not pieced together so what I'll do is I'll put my ribbon on first and I just measure it from end to end of the scallop piece Then I'll just cut that. Cut it a little long because if you cut it too short, it'll be wasted. You can always adjust it once you get it glued down. So I'll put some glue on the back of this. And I'll put it down where I want it. And if it's a little long, make sure not to go over. You just cut the excess off. Don't really have to worry about it that much because it'll be under the thank you if you have a messed up edge. And that's how I determined which side to put my thank you based on which side of the ribbon looked the best. So the next thing I'll do is take some of this foam adhesive and this is the Dollar Tree adhesive and what I've done is just put it on the top and the bottom of the thank you because you don't want the center of it to be too bulky when you put it across the ribbon. So I just cut a few pieces off of here and just put it on the back of my thank you. And once I get all my adhesive backings off, I do put extra glue on these just because, you know, I don't like anything coming apart. And I just pick a spot. I think that's my messed up side, so I'll just put it over this end. Determine how far you want it from the bottom. If you want any of that showing or not, just press down. Then once you get that on, decide which bow. I think I'm gonna go with this one. It's like a gingham. Just put a little bit of adhesive on here. And slap that onto the side of your card. And we are done. Thank you so much for bearing with me with my first start to finish card. I do plan to do a few more of these and I do want to start doing them with the silhouette as well. So what my idea is, is to cut three of the same project I'll put one together so that I'll know how it goes together and then I'll record and share how the project is put together and then I will offer up all of the pieces to someone in the comments that maybe wants to give it a try if there's more than one person or a couple people I can always do a random YouTube comment picker if you like that idea please let me know what you think down in the comments I just want to um, share a few more of my project I would love to know what you think if you have any questions about this card please leave them down below 
and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for watching. Happy New Year. Have a great day. Bye.